Hello and welcome back to another model building video. Today we'll be building a SDKFZ 222 by Tamiya. As usual, all the parts are very nicely molded, and it even comes with some photo etched parts and some string for the tow cable. My favorite part about this kit is that the hull is in two pieces, so it's very easy to put together. And shazam! With the power of editing, the first part of the gun is done. With the photo etched parts, you have to be very careful not to bend them too many times because, you know, they'll snap. Which I unfortunately screwed up the first time by bending them the wrong way twice and I had to glue them together again, so don't do what I did. And finally, the model is ready for its first coat of primer. Unfortunately, for most of the shots with the airbrush, I just got my entire hand in the picture, and, um, well, you can't see anything, so sorry about that. Also, make sure to thin down your paint so you don't have any spatter while airbrushing. Again, sorry about my finger taking up the entire frame. For the antenna, I use some very thin floor wire.
And now for my least favorite part, the decals. If you really want a decal to lay flush with the surface, you ought to get a decal softener because it was a pain in the ass to get some of these to look nice. Now that we got the worst part out of the way, we can get to the best part, doing washes and weathering. For fun and easy chipping, use an old sponge. I make sure to apply chipping only to the places where it would most likely happen, and although it is a bit messy right now, I go back and clean it up later. And now for some sweet Vallejo washes. Excuse the weird out of order clips, it was a very strange process I had when I initially started weathering. Time for some thick mud. This has to be my favorite weathering process. It just, everything has to be covered in mud. It makes everything better. The fenders, the tires, everything. It has to be utterly festooned in mud. I make the mud even muddier with some Vallejo oiled earth washes. Now I had a little bit of decoration with a Panzerfaust and a helmet. I also printed a little label for the Panzerfaust to make it more detailed. For smaller parts, it's a good idea to use some dry brushing techniques to bring out all of the smaller details. And finally, here's the finished product, the SD KFC 222 by Tamiya. It has been an absolute pleasure building this model, and I am very excited for the next video in which I will be building the diorama. Anyway, thanks for watching, and have a lovely day.